Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Electric and today we will be learning about what electrical power is and its relationship with current and voltage. Power as we know from a physical point of view is the rate of doing work, that is work done per unit time. It can be written as power equals work done divided by time taken. Since energy is used to do work, power can also be defined as the rate at which energy gets supplied or used up and we can write it as power equals energy consumed divided by time taken. Ok, we have learned from our previous topics about electricity that work is done to move the electrons continuously in the circuit and this work is done by the voltage supply or the potential difference. So the voltage supply does electrical work in moving the electrons in the circuit and hence the form of energy used up is electrical energy. So electrical power is defined as electrical work done per unit time that is electrical work done divided by time taken and if it is represented in terms of energy then we can write electric power equals electrical energy consumed divided by time taken. Ok, now let us derive the unit of power by using this basic formula that we learned just a while ago which is power equals work done divided by time taken. The SI unit for work is joules and the SI unit for time is seconds and putting them here in this equation we get power equals joule divided by second. Joules per second gives us the unit of power which is called watt with capital W as its symbol. So we can say electric power is 1 watt when 1 joule of electric work is done in 1 second. Or in terms of energy we can say that electric power is 1 watt when 1 joule of electrical energy is consumed in 1 second. Now we already know from our previous topics about voltage and current that voltage is work done to push free electrons in a conductor. That is voltage is work done per unit charge. If you wish to know more about electrons, charge or current then click on the link given in the description below. Ok, now expressing this relation in a mathematical form we get V equals W divided by Q where V is the supply voltage, W is the electrical work done and Q is the charge. Rearranging this equation we can write W equals V multiplied by Q. Putting this in the early equation of power in place of work done, we get P equals V multiplied by Q divided by T. Now Q by T is charge per unit time, which we know is the definition of current as per our previous topics. So in place of Q by T, we can simply write current. Now our equation becomes P equals V multiplied by I or power equals voltage times current where the unit of power is watt, the unit of voltage is volts and the unit of current is amps and this is the relationship between power, voltage and current. Now if you buy an electrical appliance such as an electric bulb, a ceiling fan, a refrigerator or a TV, you may notice that there are two numbers clearly marked on it, voltage and power. For example, on an electric bulb, it will be written 60 watts and 220 volts. This is called the power voltage rating or simply the power rating. This power rating is important because it tells us that what is the recommended voltage to use the appliance and what will be the electric power consumed by the appliance. In our example for the electric bulb, the recommended voltage is 220 volts and when it is used in 220 volts, the electric bulb will consume 60 watts of electric power. So like this bulb, different electrical appliances have different power ratings which helps in bringing out smooth and efficient way for the appliances to operate. So I hope that you now understand the concept of electric power and also the relationship between power, voltage and current. Also from this video I have shown you how the formula for power is derived and the importance about power rating of electrical appliances. If you have any further doubts or questions please feel free to comment down below and also don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel Electric. I will post stuff like this to clear your concepts and make it as simple and short as possible. Until then, bye.